Good morning everybody and thank you so much for joining us today. I'm Kelly Singleton and I'll be with you for the next hour with my fabulous crafting friends. Today we've got Kat on the demonstration station and we've got Gemma looking after us here in the studio. Kat, hello! Hello Kelly! <laughs> How are you? I'm great, very uh, happy to see you. Uh, well, if for all you guys watching at home, Kat's just been dancing. I, d I always do a little dance do do right before, dance. yeah, before we click on. I always dance there, <laughs> dance there. <laughs> so this is the source of good mood. I like. Yeah. Oh, you're going to keep us all in good spirits this morning. And this morning we have a very fun filled hour. We have got, well, some may call it a little crazy. Yes. We have got crazy crafting products and crazy crafting demos. So definitely stick around and watch all about that. But um, before we go any further, let's look at this week's Win It Weekly. So this week we have five winners and each product is worth $19.99. So you're going to win this lovely Forever Florals Lavender Collection, which it works brilliantly with what we're launching today, isn't it? It will, yeah. It does, it's like it's meant to be. So um, there's five winners and we're going to announce the winners on Friday's show. So all you have to do is like, share and answer the following question. Which animal cannot stick out its tongue? Is it A, crocodile? Is it B, woodpecker? Or is it C, zebra? <laughs> Kat, have you done a show this week? Is this your first time? <laughs> this is my first time seeing this question. <laughs> I mean, they get crazier and crazier. They do. Gemma, who's responsible for this question? Emily. Of course, it's an Emily <laughs> question. Um, I don't know, guys. Well, let us know. Um, put your answers below and we'll um, announce the winners on Friday. So, yeah, before we get stuck into today, we've got loads to show you today. It's a really good launch. And Kat's just told me before the show, she hopes that we're free all afternoon because she might not start making. <laughs> She's got some really good projects for us. But before we go any further, let's look at the VT. <laughs> cards there by the team and we here love craft card um, I know you love craft card I do um, there's just so much that you can do with it. it I think it's it's so versatile so it's great for masculine cards I mean you can distress it you can stamp on it you can color on craft card and as well even if you just add a bit of crisp white matting and laying, layering it just looks beautiful doesn't it it really really can, does there's just so much you can do with it so first up i'm going to show you our foiled craft card selection so it's 14.99 but you know the score here if you're a club member it's 14.24 if you're a diamond member it's 13.49 so you're going to get 32 sheets in this pack and you can just see all the amazing patterns so the 16 foil designs here you're going to get two of them so we've got some really so that would just be it's edge to edge foiling so that would look amazing just as a background you could footy cut these lovely little flowers here on the side or you could even you know cut a six by six or an eight by eight and just stamp or add your own toppers to the rest of that we've got some newspaper print some really nice full page patterns some pretty stars and so these are giving me steampunk absolutely yeah I'm excited to see what you're going to do with this cat. oh so am I I can't wait I was so excited when I found out I was on this show it's so nice to have a full launch dedicated to craft card I know because we've not done anything like this before no we'll, we'll bring a little bit in here and a little bit in there yeah. but to have a full range is so exciting and I feel like as well whenever we have anything craft um, with a launch it goes so quickly yes. our little craft tag pads um, sell out so quick because it's just it's such a really great item to have in your stash so next up we have embossed craft card selection so I was looking at some of the cards before me with this and it's just so good and I didn't think that the watercolour pencils or the inks would 
work brilliantly on this but Rebecca was showing me and it really does it stands out so well so embossing is perfect to get your sponges get in there with your inks we've got all different patterns here we've got little butterflies we've got polka dots so once you add some color to these they're going to really stand out yeah. and, what and I'm, I'm using both of those techniques today i am going to be doing some coloring in with the pencils oh and nice. i'm going to be uh, inking on some of the embossed card to really bring the textures out so you get to see it both oh good because then you it'll really show up these um patterns as well yeah. so this is a little floral one and um a little trick Rebecca was showing me too is um, a white pencil or white pen on the on here mm. so nice so this one is nine pounds 99 and this one is just you might not be able to see it, it's just like a wood grain but that would just looks beautiful and they are effectively double-sided because you've got your embossed oh one yeah. side but on the other you've got your deep your deboss side so you can use it either way absolutely um, 24 sheets in here, um, 9.99, or if you're a diamond member, you can grab that for £8.99. And then the last thing I'll show you in this section is our craft card embellishment. So again, all gold foiled, you'll get the 16 sheets and four of each design. So of course, we've got some lovely flowers here. Pop them out, just add them onto little cards, that finishing touch, or you can layer them up. You can even, you can create little wreaths, um, little decoupage designs. And then what's great about this pack is these um, borders and bows are a slightly lighter um, GSM. So that means that you can really bend these and they'll work perfectly. And then the rest of the pack is thicker. So we've got some butterflies here and some dragonflies. And then we've also got all your letter coins. And I believe in this pack, you've got 516 elements. So for 9.99, that's amazing 516 elements that you can pop out and that's going to last ages and those um little letter coins you can just personalization amazing yeah. really good so it's just adding that extra little finishing touch so if you're a diamond member grab that for eight pounds 99 and then i'll just show you some of the cards because i think the cards really speak for themselves oh look how pretty with the um so you can see just with those um, embellishments, they just really make these cards stand out. And then we've got um, Emma has just fussy cut the florals on the first one, creating that pattern. So that's give a lovely edge on that card there. Just showing you how we can personalize with those letter coins. And the foil looks so good on this as well, the gold foil. It's perfect because if you didn't really like distressing or making grungy sort of cards you can take it the other way with the gold the gold can just make it look quite fancy oh this is nice wow <laughs> oh that's lovely so cute and the pearls work really well and then we've added a bit of lace into this one so that Oh, and then I've just got this, which I believe you've created. Oh, oh yeah, my this. little dog house. A little dog house. Oh, that's ace. So yeah, Kat, what are you going to show us today? I am. I'm going straight in and I'm going to use a few things that we've not even showed you yet because I just got spoiled for choice and I was <laughs> like, oh, I need to use everything. Um, yeah, so this is definitely a Maury's More card. But I think you can do that with your craft because you stick into a very simple color palette. You can just keep adding and adding the layers and the textures. So coming up later on, we have the A5 card blanks and some six, card, six inch card blanks for you as well. Now I'm gonna cheat because I can never work out my mats and layers for, <laughs> for um, A5. So I'm gonna cut this down to inches so it's a little bit easier for me. So I'm just going to trim that down to five and a half inches that way. And then eight inches. It just makes it easier. And then I have brought in a selection of all the different things I like. I'm going to take this beautiful rose gold foil card. I've got some of the dotty foil card and I've got some of the butterflies, the embossed butterflies. Um, so I know it's going to look like, what is she doing? But I promise it'll make sense. So I've pre-cut because I've got quite a lot of cutting to do here. Um, 
a matting layer and this one is three notches under the five and a half by three notches under the eight and this is the main layer i'm going to be putting that on so i need to make sure i come another three notches one two three we'll make sure we do it in the right direction so yeah that's right so that's six notches under the eight and it'll be six notches under the five and a half we've got our lovely stacy Maffitt watching good morning stacy good morning stacy i've missed you also oh are you happy to hear my voice I bet on she is. On Dory Craft TV this morning. <laughs> just let me, I've just realised. Um, do you know, I had a travesty this week. Oh, go on. I did Thursday instead of Friday last week. And when I got home to craft on Friday, I had no construction glue at home. <laughs> so I've had two days crafting without any construction glue. It's really, really been hard work for me. I can imagine. So I'm glad I'm just getting my glue set up. So then I'm going to do another panel of six by four of this beautiful dotty one. So Kat, what have I missed? Oh, um, everything. What's the, what's the hunky dory gossip? Oh, I don't know if I can tell. <laughs> Not on here. Oh no. Cat's um, got all the secrets. Oh, I don't know. I don't have no idea. <laughs> I believe we've had um, a lovely launch yesterday, our Moonstone Blessed and Beautiful collection, yeah, which looks really great. Yeah, stunning. And this piece here is three by five inches. Now we've got everything. I'll get everything glued down. So did, I take it you didn't enjoy crafting without your construction glue? It took a bit of getting used to. I kept getting up every 10 minutes and like looking somewhere else for it. I accused everybody in the house of stealing it. Um, no, there was no no obvious cul culprit. I um, gutted my youngest lad's room because he likes to play, you know, when it goes a little bit congealed on top, the yeah. bubbles, he thinks that's the best thing in the world. So I wondered if he'd have taken it. <laughs> but no, I don't know what I'd done with it. I think because I've been going down to telly and I've been taking things from home, I might have just packed it and brought it back and then forgot to take it home again. Oh yes, I forgot you've been going to Hobby Maker. Yeah, much fun. So we're just layering all these up. So, that one on there, and then we can start building this onto our card base, and then we can start adding all our pretty elements. So I was um, browsing last night on my favourite Vinted app, yes. and I came across some knee-high cow print boots. <gasps> Wow. And I was thinking, who, well, who would wear them? <laughs> and I thought, well, it's the lady that I'm seeing tomorrow morning. Oh, wow. You have to send me the link. <laughs> they were certainly very out there. Were they full on? Full on. Maybe a bit too much. Well, when it comes to cow print, there's no such thing. <laughs> So I'm going to have this card in a landscape position, so I'm just sticking that bigger panel up in the right hand corner there. And then we're going to take our butterfly panel down in the bottom. Oh, this is looking nice already. Well, this is it, isn't it? It looks a bit crazy when you pull everything out together, but because, like I said earlier, because you've got that simple colour to palette, everything does work beautifully and it's going to get crazier yet so next up i am another sneak peek we have got these beautiful verses for you oh yeah so i am just going to take one out of here and i'm just kind of cutting this to i'm just kind of eyeballing it i'm not doing any precise measurements and then i will use my trick of marking my mirror to to mat and layer it so i get a perfect and do you think you can be less precise with craft card? Can like you be what, sorry? Less precise, you know, 
can it like hide uh, things? Well, I suppose so. Yeah, I don't know. I am a precise crafter, so I do find it hard to have things that aren't oh, exactly yeah. right. But I suppose if you wanted to. So what I like to do here then is just to get my mat and layer. I'm just flipping over my mirror, just lining this up so I get that basic mat and layer look. Yeah, it's good that you've not had to measure it there, so you can just do it quite quick. That's it. Like I said, if you know your measurements and you're absolutely fine to go, you just um, add on or take away whatever you like your mat and layers to be. But if it is something that you put into an awkward size or you just cut in, there's a very, very quick, simple way around it. So if you're on the website already and you're having a look where this foil craft card is, you'll see that there's lots of other very exciting things along with this so if you wanted to grab everything that you're every new crafty product today um, you can grab that for £91.92 but if you're a diamond member you can get this for £82.73 and there's lots more yet we've got so much that to show you with so this. much more if you are a craft fan then this is going to be all your dreams come true so let me find some foam pads What would be worse, Kat? Running out of construction glue or foam pads? Oh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> don't, don't, don't do that to me. No, they're both terrible. No, well, foam pads kind of... I would have to say foam pads because I did manage with my tape and everything yesterday for um, and on Friday for sticking everything down with. But foam pads, you just kind of need foam pads. So now I am going to go to this beautiful... Uh, ribbon section with the bows and I'm just going to take out one of these layers here and you can see I'm really really mixing up the patterns and I'm just having fun with it so I'm going to take out the matching bow it's great that it all works so well together as it well is. even if you look at the patterns and think oh you're not quite sure what to do with that or what card it would work well with I think you can just mix and match yeah. all sorts so i'm just giving this bow before i put any adhesive on just a little shaping just so when i come to bring it round, it's a little bit easier to do and i'm going to use my red liner tape for this because we know it's got that extra strong sticky stick where's my dye brush oh we had our little this has gone out my box. It's little, not even a uh, little thief. No, I have to use this. So I'm sorry, everybody watching at home, but I can't get the comments to load at the minute. But I'm hopefully they will, and then I can see what everybody is saying. Come on, come on, Ren Lidner. I need you a bit today, so you are not letting me down. Oh, tricky it is it is amazing stuff but it comes at a price <laughs> so then we just fold this into the middle in both ways and it just starts to create this beautiful bow shape and then a li another little piece on the center of our bow here the back of the bow I like the little bows they look really nice so cute aren't they Oh, I'm just looking at the cards we've got still to show. And there's some really funky flowers someone's made here. There is a little ribbon strip you can stick behind there, but I am going to add a gem on in a bit. So I will do that later on. And then I'm just going to cut this down. We know the width of the card is two notches, uh, sorry, six notches under the eight. Oh yeah, I've got some comments again now. Are they all coming back through? They're all coming they through. They hadn't actually abandoned us. No, it's just me and you today, Kat. <laughs> We're all by ourselves. So I'm going to take 
take this and cut the top. And you would think I'm nearly finished, but you know what? I'm not. <laughs> I'm adding more. And I'm not caring. No, you enjoy yourself. So we're going to stick that little bow on top there. So it's just like framing the uh, verse, which reads, Family are like branches on a tree. We all grow, yet our roots remain as one, which is absolutely gorgeous. That's nice. So next, what have I done next? Next, I am going to add mum because these are just too good not to use. Um, Claire has said it's going to be Cat's Crazy Craft Card Demo. It, it is. is. You're going to have three of them, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anybody will complain about that. So I'm just taking these little pips off here. And because it is a more fibrous like substance, you, your pips are a little bit more noticeable. So that's why I just like to take them down with the scissors. So my first M, I'm just going to overlap on this one here. So I want to keep my, have I got any little squares? Um, foam pads to the right hand side. And I'm going to double up this first one just so it's going to sit proud of that layer that's already on foam pads. And then the other two can just be a little bit lower down just creating that interest i've got a crafty question for you yeah um, does construction glue stick okay to mirror card yeah perfectly yeah yeah it's what i use all the time and claire has said awesome we could watch you craft all day cat oh thank you so we'll go with mum there and then i'm going to go in with a couple of butterflies <laughs> because why not why not we have enough elements, don't we? We certainly There's do. 516. And it's a nice big size card, so you want to fill it out. You want to make it fun and interesting and have lots of things to look at all over the place. And then, after I've got my butterflies on, you're going to get a sneak peek of something that I think you are absolutely going to go cray-cray for, because I certainly did. <laughs> I don't even know what this is going to be. Well, it's only small, but it's a sneak peek. So I've just added some red liner tape to the back of these. Just put some butterflies down this side. As well, anything craft will work perfectly with any of our Mat Mattastic collections. It will. And then if I can find where I've, where I've hid it, we have got, coming up, an essential book of sentiments in craft card and gold. <laughs> Isn't it the best thing ever? So I've just taken to a very special lady out there. Kelly will show you in lots more detail afterwards, I am sure. Um, I, don't think I'd down. I don't think you're going to craft with anything else again. No, no I'm not. Honest. Everything is going to be um, craft card. I'm just going to refuse. And if they make me try and work with anything else, I'll do what everybody else is doing and go on strike. <laughs> so I'm just going to finish that with a gold gem. Oh, you've heard it here first. There's going to be a hunky dory strike from Kat. <laughs> She's going to start it. And there we go. Using lots and lots of fun, different elements from that kit. That Not looks... being afraid to clash and match our patterns, but you still end up with a lovely result at the end. It just looks so nice. And the gold foil, it just really... I don't know, it just makes it look so fancy. Yeah. Really fancy. And that's what we like here. It is. A little bit of fancy card making. So, of course, that's not all. That was the first three products. And now I've got four more to show you. But then I've still got more after that. <laughs> so, we have got the Perfect Versus Foil Craft Pad. So, you will know we've already got this, but in white. So, we thought, well, we need to do this in craft. Um, 48 sheets and um, there's six designs and there's eight sheets of each so 9.99 but if you're a diamond member you can grab this for eight pounds 99 and I'll just show you ever so quickly and I'll read you a, a few so these are perfect for the insides of cards they're perfect for you know adding something really nice onto the front of your card may today's success only be the beginning of your incredible journey See, lots of really uplifting um, verses in here. Everybody likes a nice, positive 
thought, don't we? And let's read some more. Good friends are like stars. You don't always see them, but you know they're always there. So, you know, you've got all sorts in here for birthdays, friendship, thank you. We've got you covered with these perfect verses. And you can see the cat just literally snipped into it, um, put it on a bit of gold mirror, and there you have like a nice little topper. Well, you can just score the size of scissors. You can really get in there and, and distress the edges. And then this is what Kat was super excited about. It's an essential book of craft sentiments. So again, $11.99, the usual price of our sentiment books. $11.39 for club or £10.79 for diamond members. There's 40 sheets in here. And oh, I wanted to, s oh yes, there we go. 650 individual sentiments. So that's not gonna run out for ages, is it? You're gonna have so much in there. And we've got, the designers have covered all the usual shapes and sizes. So we've got a variety in there. We've got circles, we've got little tags, little tiny squares. We've got everything in here and for every recipient too. So mum, dad, uncles, we've got friendship. Um, get well soon, just to say, I'm so very sorry. We've got tons in there for you. And then last of this little section, of course, if we're going to be crafting with craft cards, then here are the perfect card blanks. So we've got two for you. We've got the six by six and we've got some A5. So each pack contains 20 and the 280 GSM. And of course, we've got the envelopes here for you. And here are the A5s. So these are perfect. So literally just, they're already pre-scored. Pre you just fold them, add the embellishments, add whatever you want onto them and you can grab them. So they are £8.99 if you're a diamond member. So let me just show you some more of the fabulous cards because I think it's the cards that are really doing the job here because they're just so amazing. For something that if you just look at the product and you think, oh, that's not very exciting, but look <laughs> at the cards, they're ace. And this is what I saw before. Look at these little roses. So cute, aren't they? So clever. So clever. And then here we go, adding a little bit of our diamond shimmer paper to this. And that little book of verses, just taking it out and using it as a topper. And then this is one of the tags from our, we've already got the little, what's it called? Little essential tag pad. Yeah. Craft pad. Here we're just showing you using a bit of the ink to really bring out that texture on the embossed card. And then a couple more. So this is super fancy. So you can take your time with these or you can make super quick ones, but I just love these ones with all these embellishments added on. It just looks so good. They do. They so, really make them so pop, good. don't they? They really do. Um, Kat, what are you doing now? Now we are going to add a little bit of colour. Oh, We're yes. going to bring in our pencils. The card I'm making now, when you get this home, is on the um, the slip for your um, embossed card pack. Okay. But I loved making it so much, I wanted to make it again. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm taking one of our six inch card blanks and I'm just going to cut this under so it fits. Don't worry, I'm not going to do... I have done, um, here's one I made earlier, Just, but I'm just going to do a little bit of colouring on here to get you with it. So the idea is I'm going to colour in all of these beautiful dots. So I've taken, where have I just put that bit there? Oh, it's under there. I was scared because I need that for later. So I'm just going to have lots of fun. I've picked out some lovely, bright, vibrant colours and I'm just going to start colouring these um, dots in. And if you just go lightly over the top, you will see how well this craft card picks up on that beautiful, beautiful... Um, I know, I'm just... I'm colours. so shocked that the watercolour pencils show up so bright on They craft really, card. really do. They really work well with it. They do, and I think it's because they are a watercolour pencil, so they're extra pigmented, so they still give a really good colour payoff when you water them down. Yeah. That's why they work so well on your craft card and things, because they have got that really, really strong, strong pigment in there. 
And so for um, anybody who doesn't know, who's new to watching this, catch using our watercolour pencils. So you can grab these for 29.99, but again, save more if you're a club or a diamond member. So this is the pack and there's 48 pencils in here. And um, they're not as small as cats, but you can see the heads the are mine are very, very well <laughs> used. <laughs> very well used. But yeah, these work amazing with the craft card. So we just add little bits of colour and I've got a lovely bright blue, a bright pink, an orange, a yellow, a purple and a red just to make this really, really fun. And you can see how well all these are showing up on here. That's the orange and then the yellow which you think would struggle <laughs> really, really doesn't. Look at that payoff of that yellow onto that brown there. I know, it looks so good. It's Absolutely so bright. Absolutely stunning. Um, Kat, there was so, so, so much love for your last card. Oh, I'm thank just looking you. through it now. And then, so you just go work your way all around your uh, square that you've cut out. And then just to finish it perfectly, what I like to do, I'm really going to have to get a new white pencil. Look at the state of this. I am going to, <laughs> it's tiny isn't it? That's the smallest pencil ever. Edge all the circles with white. I'm scared to sharpen it again because I think it might, I'll, I'll lose it. So if you edge all the circles with white, this just really, really, really makes it pop. And when you've done everything, are you ready for this? I'm very You'll ready. end up with something that looks like this. I look, it's lovely. It's it? so good. So much fun. But I'm not finished with the colouring yet because I'm just going to add this bottom line in. I've, what I've also done is just gone across all the edges with oh yeah, what a good idea! This white just to really, really make it pop, and then it just stands out when it's backed onto the card as well in a bit. So this time, so we'll put that to the side for one minute, and we're going to go to our scrap card. Let's see what length this is about two and a half so we'll keep that at that length and we will cut it to say three inches I've said three I've changed my mind no three, three's fine three's fine uh, ruler and I'm just so it was two and a half wide so we want one and a quarter to find the halfway mark Um, Jenny has said, oh my goodness, this is so amazing, I'm in love. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just going to turn this into like a little party hat. So I'm just going to, I found my centre point, and then I'm just drawing that point to the bottom corners. We'll cut this away into a triangle. So when are you going to get some new fresh watercolour pencils, Kat? Or are you I just don't know. I think, there is a, I think there is a set lurking on my desk that I might have to swap them out for. No, I quite like that you've got the mini ones. <laughs> they have the uses. <laughs> and then there is this arch. Uh, I've just cut an arch on the bottom just to make it more party hat feeling. I'm going to have to pinch. My mum has some like pencil extenders at home. So I might have to pinch some of them from her till I get so the very... Pencil extenders? Yeah, they're like a thing that you put on top because my mum does like all her work with pastel pencils. Um, oh. And obviously the ones my mum buys are extremely expensive. So you have to make sure oh, that yeah. you get the absolute most out of them. And the certain colours, obviously, that she, when we're doing animal portraits, that she uses lots more than others. So you have to make sure. They're just like a little thing that you pop on the top and makes your pencil long again. Well, if I've learned anything today from my day back in the office it's that you can buy pencil extenders there you go it was worth it just for that <laughs> it definitely was so i'm just going to go in and do the same again here mixing and matching these colors trying to make sure i get something of everything in myra said it must be me as i thought it looked like a slice of pizza <laughs> eh, i hope it doesn't anymore <laughs> but you could easily make it into a slice of pizza yes So I'm just going to carry on. Pink's in here. A little 
one going, just peeking over the top there. A couple of green, and then I'm going to edge this again. And this last little bit of orange. And back to my tiny white, and we're just going to go around these. Could you add water if there's no point? You don't really need to. Um, you don't really need to. For your craft card here, you are going to get, for a look like this, you are going to get the best payoff just using them dry. Yeah. Because it is quite a fibrous, tex texturous, the craft card. If you start adding water, it will go quite wet. Yeah. <laughs> as after this sounds. <laughs> Let's just go right in this final one. Oh no, missed one. And then we're just going to edge this again just to make it stand out. I think it looks like a little slice of cheese. Yeah. What cheese are you eating? <laughs> Multi ones. Well, maybe if it was just no, the blue, it was but just the shape. But again, that I'm sure that is something you could turn it into. So, but we've not finished with our party hat there because I've gone back to some of the coloured twine that we had a while ago for one of our collections, and I want to make a little, a little, um, what's the word? A little tassel for the top. Oh, no, this cute. is where. I really could do with my three in one die brush, but I've not got it. So I'm just going to tape these down to the back, make sure I've got enough poking over the top there. And I've left myself quite a bit of excess just so it's easier to tape down and then I can cut away the excess rather than trying to pin where I've not got much uh, twine to hold on to. So I'm just going to pin that down there. So where Kat's been colouring on the embossed sheets, um, she's picked the polka dot pattern, but in that pack there's also butterflies, there's little flowers, and there's the wood grain. So you can add um, colour just the same way. You can add colour to the little butterflies, that would look really cute. Or the little flowers, you could make a, re a quite a, a 70s sort of pattern with that. You flowers, really could, yeah. If you, cho you chose the right colours, I think it would look really good. And then just a little bit more, just two hold that in place at the top so where I wanted my um, I suppose I can do it with my craft knife but with your um, pokey tool what I would usually do if you break them go in and break up these twine fluff them out the brush bit on the thing is so much better for this have we not got one hanging around uh, what do we need just a little poke uh, Three in one die brush. Oh, sorry, I've got one here. All this time. There we go. So if you get in with this, <laughs> this makes it a lot easier for you. You can see how that's starting to break up now. Oh, I see what you're doing. I'm just going to flush them out. Oh, that's really fun. It is, isn't it? Twist them round, get them all mixed up in colours. Obviously, you spend a bit more time with it at home than I'm doing here. But it just gives you this really cute, fun, oh, we just fun little tassel at the top. We just had our... Slight buses. Our Jess come in to give us a three-in-one dye brush. We've already got one. It's too late. It's late to the party. And then just trim it down. End up with this really cute little tassel on the top. And then I'm just going to use a couple of foam pads. And we're going to have this coming off the top here. And then we just need to finish with like some, a little bit of sentiment. So for this one, I'm going just to give that pop of white and pick up on the white that's in the um, pencil detail. I'm going back to our trusty combo die set and I've got happy birthday because I think that is the best occasion we can find for one like this. 
I really love this card. It's so cute, isn't oh, it? It's so fun. I have got, I'm using here a little bit of the watercolour cardstock rather than the white white, just so it's a little bit not quite as stark. Yeah. Oh, that would be nice as well with the texture. That's it, yeah. yeah, it all just adds. So this is the happy, I think I've got an extra plate somewhere here. Not sure what's going on. If you haven't already, guys, don't forget to answer this week's Win It Weekly question. Um, five winners up to grabs. And which animal cannot stick out its tongue? See, I don't think it's zebra. I'm sure I've seen a zebra stick its tongue out. Like, they're like horses, aren't they? And horses can definitely stick their tongues out. Yeah. So I'm really nice zebra. Um, I don't know. Like See, a woodpecker's... I feel like it just opens its mouth wide. Yeah. I feel like it would definitely look strange with its tongue stuck out. That's <laughs> sure. It wouldn't be as scary, would it? No. To be fair. So we've got our little happy. And then we're just going to take the birthday stamp. And again, I'm only doing a tiny little bit throughout these dead balls, but I absolutely in love embossing um, on white for our, with our craft card. So I've got the birthday stamp. It's going with the first mark. Make sure you get this really, really inked up. I'm going to place this in the centre. I am going to trim this trim this down in height, but I do want it quite chunky around. And pop that on there. Get myself a little bit of scrap. And then a white embossing powder. Oh, this is fun with the air con. <laughs> Tap that off. Even though the white outlines on the card and the party hat are such a simple thing to do, doesn't it look great? It really does. It I really love it. Just adds that little bit extra to it. And again, in this, like if you want to use your gel pens instead, absolutely perfect. Oh, yeah. So I'm just going to go in with our gun. Let this war warm up for a few seconds. Oh, I can't speak. Let this warm up for a few seconds. <laughs> how beautifully again that white accent pops on this sentiment and then I'm just going to trim this down maybe just a little bit off each side just make it a wee bit smaller and then I'm just going to edge this again with the white just to keep everything lovely and cohesive Catherine said very excited to see what marvelous creations Kat has for us with this kit watching will be my lunchtime treat it seems Aww. to be a kit that allows great imagination it really yes. really does you've just summed it up there totally And there's so much in the kit as well. You could make all your cards for the year just with this cake. You could say, right, okay, I'm having a craft card year. And you're done. Because there's something that'll take you through every single season as well. Yeah. And if you um, wrap presents in just the craft paper, oh. this would look amazing with it. You could create little funky tags. Yeah, absolutely. And then everything would coordinate really nicely. Just start leaving this up now. Going to use my G 
you know what? Someone's having a thing on me today. I've not got anything. What have you, what have you got lost now? I've got my glue stick. A glue stick? Right, okay, let's use wet glue, it's fine. Okay. I don't think I have a glue stick. So, a little bit of wet glue. My dabby dabby. Oh, I like your little mini sponge. It's a, just a regular dish sponge, just into lots of pieces. I sacrifice one from when I buy them at home. And we'll pop our happy on there. Vicky has said, woo, I'm on my last quilled card for my Mother's Day stash. Wow. Oh, how many have you done? That's coming up, isn't it? Just think you've got through Christmas and then you get all these things. And then Father's Day as well. Oh, I know. Perfect with this kit. There we go. Get that stuck down. And just using our craft card essentials again, but a completely different looking card. Yeah. Completely. Well, Kat, that might be my favourite card of the year. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we are only January, so I won't get too light to get it. <laughs> I know, but I love it. It's really nice. Um, thank you very much, Kat. So that's the second demo. And then we've got one last product to show you that's new. And then we've got a couple of extras that work brilliantly with all this crazy craft. So this is almost bigger than me. <gasps> you can just see, but you'll already know that we do these super side cards super sized card blocks in um, the white, in silver mirror, in gold mirror, and now we've got craft. So these are perfect if you are a crazy crafter and you like doing more of the larger projects, so box making and um, any sort of things like, what, what am I thinking of? And when you put your pens in, storage, little boxes, pen yes. pots, um, little things that you can um, store your letters in so this literally is just a full pad of craft cards you're going to get 20 a3 sheets in here and it's 280 dsm so it's great quality and um, 14 pound 14 pound 99 or if you're logged in 14.24 or if you're a diamond member that's 13.49 so it's amazing a great thing to add and grab and put onto your order and then last up you might have already seen these but we've got the essential craft tag pad so 50 sheets again that 280 gsm so these are perfect just pop them out add them onto cards pop them on presents there's so much you can do with these you can even make a little bunting i think yes. yeah with, with this and yeah. um, a great size as well if you're um, a stamper or you have some small really cute um moonstone dies that's great with our tag pad and then We've got the A4 craft card. So again, even if you just like colouring like Kat was just showing us then with the watercolour pencil, you can get super creative with this. Sorry, um, I'm being noisy tidy enough. <laughs> it's okay. Um, you can just make your own different card sizes and you're gonna get 30 sheets in this pack and this is our A4 selection. Um, £9.99, again, £9.49 if you're a club member or £8.99 if you're a diamond member. So you can grab that online. As soon as you go on the website, you will see the Crazy Craft um, banner. Click in and everything that we've showed you will be all in that um, category there. So again, if you did want to grab all the new items and your, let me just check my prices, and you want to grab everything that's new today, you can get that for £91.92 or you can save a little bit more if you're a club member or you can save even more if you're a diamond member. So for all you crazy craft lovers out there, this is an amazing collection. And then you can see with our foil card, we've um, foiled it in gold. So then we've also got this as well, £7.99. You've got your 16 sheets. So just our amazing Miri, the quality that you know and love. And you can see that works perfectly. So you can create all your borders you can map the verses onto this gold mirror and that works worth, works beautifully with the craft card. And then just some of the last cards to show you. We've got so many cards with this um, Because collection. everybody loved it. Has everybody <laughs> really gone for it? So as well, we've not, oh, cat, which is unusual for you. You've not, have you put any gems on today? Uh, not yet. Oh no, I have, I put a gem on the bow before. Oh, okay. 
Ever I have, since, I ever have been normal. having a bit of a, uh, a gem, what's the word? Detox. Have you? Yeah. Why? I don't know. Why you can I don't know. <gasps> okay, well this one, we've gone crazy with our diamond sparkle. Yeah, apart from that one that I made. <laughs> oh, have you made this one? <laughs> <laughs> You're telling fibs. Then we have to someone special. That's really nice as well. And then celebrate. So you can see that Barbara's just used one of our moonstone dies to cut out the word celebrate. And she's cut that out in one of the foiled patterned um, craft pieces, so the polka dots. And then you can see we've got all, using all those other patterns in this as well. So we've got the flowers, we've got the newsprint. And so that just works really well together. And then this looks absolutely amazing. Oh, isn't it stunning? Oh, that's so this nice. It's Babs again, I think. It is. So just a little bit of white pencil here, and I'm pretty sure gold, maybe, or yellow, just adding those details into that butterfly. We've used the embellishments, we've used the foil card to the background as well. So you can see as well with these card samples, just how, how many different patterns you're gonna get in that craft card selection. Because there is 32 sheets. And then here we go using those beautiful wood grains three different colors on there just inks to bring in out that lovely pattern and that embossed craft card again just showing you how amazing they are for a background super easy and really effective and i really like this one a little tag in there you could even if you was um giving this card to any garden lovers pop a little packet of seeds behind there that would be look, mega cute. That would look really nice. And then that's it. That is the whole Crazy Craft collection. It's yeah. Crazy Craft crazy in here because it's absolutely <laughs> everywhere. Um, but we've got one last demo for you today. And back to you, Kat. Okay, but before you do, please can I have an A3 sheet and a A4 plain sheet as well? Absolutely. A4, there you go. Thank you. And for this one, we couldn't have A3 cardstock and not make some form of box, could we? It's what it's here for. Absolutely. There you go. So I have taken inspiration from the adorable score for handbook <laughs> two. And we are going to be making this toolbox by right our craft card, which I think lends itself so, so well to it. So let's get going. So first of all, we are going to cut this gigantic piece down to 12 inches by 9 inches. Jenny, that is my um, comment of the day. She's put me too. Can't wait to order this craft yet, but tempted to get next day just to touch it. Yeah, <laughs> very much so. So this is going to be our base. I'm going to do all my cutting first and then all my scoring just because it makes it a little bit more thing. And then we need to cut our lid. So this is where I'm going to take my A4 and I'm going to cut this to six and a half by six. Then we are going to need to cut two sides of that make the lid of the box, um, but I'm just going to do one today. I've got one already made for you. So we cut this piece to four inches by two and a half. Viv has said, loving cat's top today. Oh, thank you. Very nice, she's gone for a different animal other than the cow print today. Oh, cheetah. Yeah, <laughs> I do like my animal print all right. So, all goes. So, let's go back to the base of our box, with it, which is this big one here. And we are going to score... I'm confused, did I not cut that to 12 inches? Hmm. What have I done? Can you give me another A3 piece? I've gone yeah. a bit short for some reason. Probably me interrupting you. There we go. What have I done? Not quite 
quite sure. Let's try again. Nine, definitely nine. And thank you for the lovely comment saying nice to see you back. I'm not fully back, I've just been popping in, but it's not long till I'm back now. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, Kat, this is we not working. Give me another one. I think I've cut it, I've been placing my piece round the wrong way. I say, I can't help you with any of these measurements. I have no use. <laughs> I think, because it's not quite 12 that way, is it? And that's where I'm going wrong, right? So I need to make sure that I cut my 12 in this direction. So we'll cut this one first. There we go. It was all a ploy. I'm just cutting myself lots and lots of extra craft card that I can use for other things. <laughs> so you can take home? Yeah. And you choose stash. So let me get some of my uh, rubbish out of the way before I get confused. I know, I, I feel like we'll be in trouble. We've created a lot of mess today. Oh, it's okay. I always do. So let's get back to what we were doing and making a box. So for this one, when with it across in the 12 inches direction, we are going to score at three inches and we are going to score at nine inches. And then we're going to turn it round and we're going to score at three inches and we're going to score at six inches. And then I just want to make sure that I add in some little tabs so I can make my box stick together. So I'm going to come half an inch out and just down to the first score line on both these sides. We'll flip it around and do the same again on the other. And just like that, we have the base for our box. And then we'll do our lid. So with it in the six and a half inch going across the top here, we are going to score at one inch. Like I said, if you get the handbook, all the instructions are on there. We're going to score at one inch, two and a half inches, three and a half inches, five inches, and then six inches. Vicky has said, we'll have to order a few bits from this collection. We'll have to persuade the hubby to get me it. And what I really like in the comments is usually ways that you guys at home have tricked your other your partners in. Into, thank you. Yeah, into getting the craft right, I need products. to find where I've hid the ruler. It's here. So for the two bits that are your sides, um, obviously I'm just making one here but you do exactly the same thing so the first thing you need to do is mark an inch up from each bottom here so we're going to mark an inch there and an inch there and then we're going to come to the top and we are going to mark I feel like I've done this the wrong way do you know when you're just not having one of those days? <laughs> <laughs> but we were doing so well, Kat. I know we were. That's what it is. We yeah. No, so we're going to mark an inch up this way and an inch up this way. Just getting too excited, that's all. <laughs> so with it in the landscape position. And then we're going to come across this top one and we're going to mark at one and a half inches, she says and two and a half inches. One, two, three, four, five, that's that one. And then we're going to cut away this bit here. So we're going to cut away this panel here. And then we're going to pop this onto our scoreboard and we're going to score our three shortest sides. So that will be this one, this one and this one. So with this bit flat to the top, again, at a half an inch, I'm just going to score this here. 
turn it again so this is another you know, shorter side flat against top we're going to score here and then back round to the other side and half an inch and we're going to score here and now what we need to do is cut out these little triangles of these points so i'm going to draw them on so you know what i'm on about so there's a triangle here there's a triangle here a triangle here and a triangle here I'm going to cut these away to make our little uh, side panel and I promise it will all make sense shortly. I so Kat, what you're creating is also in this crafty handbook isn't it? It is, yes. So if anybody really want, likes this demo that Kat's doing today and think you want to create your own version or put your own spin on it, the, all the measurements and dimensions are in the crafty handbook volume 2. So. And there's quite a few um, instructions in there for things that uh, also require A3 card to be able to make the box and would make beautiful versions in craft cards. So yeah. it, it is a really, really good combination. So let's go back to our base and we are going to cut out these flaps. Are you crafting with anything exciting this afternoon? I have no idea. Oh, I think, I think I might be still doing what I was doing yesterday. And, right, how do I say this without giving anything away? <laughs> um, you're going to love them. Okay. Um, once we've made this toolbox, there might be something in there that you can use perfectly with it. If you just hang on a few weeks. Oh. Um, I think that's about all I can say. But yeah, very, very fun. Very intriguing. Me and Gemma saw something on. Whose desk was it on? Rachel's desk before that we were having a little nosy at. I was like, what's this? I have no idea what that is either. I can't say. Can't say. say, can we not say? Well, I can't say Talk because it's, I ta it's like, I, I swear to God, there's less secrets at MI5 <laughs> than there is at this place sometimes. <laughs> and I don't know anything at the minute. I'm out of the loop. You I are. I don't know any of the good honky dory secrets. So I am going to do this in two parts just because um, obviously because of time I don't want to be doing absolutely every stage and showing and being here for 14 hours so we'll just make our box base up which is as simple as well, if you want to stay yes. here, Kat, me and Gemma will go. We'll go and get a tea. Yeah, it, it probably... Leave you to it. We're on it at the moment. I did warn you that <laughs> it was like, welcome back. You're going to be here for till four o'clock. Is that okay? But if they're giving me craft card to play with, I'm going to make the most of it. I'm sorry. It doesn't help when your red tape just doesn't want to play. Pesky red tape. It does. Pesky, pesky. Right, and for the next bit, you're going to have to use your imagination because I'm going to, I'm not going to skip. I'm going to show you everything, but just in a bit more of a <laughs> abstract way while we get to one that's already a little bit more complete. So this is the base of your box. Absolutely easy peasy, done like that. Basic box. This is gonna be your lid. So we're just gonna score up and burnish all these lines. So this piece here, your thin panel at the back, you wanna get your red liner tape and stick that on the outside of your box there we will be covering it with a panel in a bit it just gives you a little bit more flexibility of movement for the box and then we're going to take your two pieces like this 
and these are going to fit perfectly inside here oh no and i forgot to score something on here just noticed so once you've cut those bits down what you need to do then is just score these two bits into um oh i've got a scoreboard that's not got my lines on so i'm gonna <laughs> guesstimate you just need to score these two into tabs I like that Claire has said, oh no, everything has fallen into my basket. That's another competition that I've won. <laughs> Absolutely. So imagine you've got that on there and I'm switching in one that I've already started making up. I've put one side in and I'm going to show you how to put the other side in this one here. So again, with our red liner tape, and you're getting a little bit sneak peek of the decoration oh, yeah. that we're using. As well, if like Claire, everything has fallen into your basket, don't forget to check out the one pound shop before you check out. That yes. is still on yes, till yes. next Tuesday. And I'm sure you'll find some fab coordinating things in there. I'm going to have to look up at the time in a bit and I'm going to get scared, aren't I? Oh no, we're not that bad. No, I'm not feeling too bad now. I thought it was going to be about half past 12. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> yeah, where, honestly. Where has the big clock gone? I can't see the clock. Uh, well, it's just the one on the monitor, oh, so maybe right. I'm wrong. Maybe it's uh, not. <laughs> Kat, it's 10 to 12. Is it? No, I'm not kidding. Oh no, see we've said it now, people are happy with you to stay till four. <laughs> Just in time for me to get to my craft class which starts at four. Don't say don't say that. Don't tempt me. So you just follow this right now, sticking that in. Again, you can use your construction glue if you want a little bit more wiggle time, but you will just have to like peg it up in it just while you do that. But that just fits in there perfectly, it gives you your sides. So now we're going to go on to our lovely embossed card. And all my panels, what I've done is I've just taken a um, an inch or so off each one. So if this section here is one inch by six inches, six and a half inches, I've just trimmed them down to that. So let me just double check. So yeah, that one's five and a half by one. So I know I need another one of them. So five and a half by one inch. I've got this panel at the front here. I need one for the back. So that again, that's five and a half by two and a half. And we'll just show you on these two how we get that lovely colour. So the first thing I'm going to do is, I'm, you could just go straight in with your brown, but just to add a little bit more depth, what I like to do is I'm going in with this gorgeous new mustard colour. And I think this just gives a little bit more of that like yellowy tone that you find in wood. Yeah, it really warms it up. And I go on to this one using my blender. All over like that. And then I switch to uh, the beautiful velvet fawn. Now with this one, I just rub it over the top and it picks out that top embossing detail and just gives you those two different layers of colours just to really, really bring out that beautiful wood grain effect. And you can go a bit round the edges oh, just to distretch it, distress it up. And here's some I did earlier, just so we can get our <laughs> box finished off. So we have our big panel for the back. I think
think the wood grain is going to be a favourite for lots of people. It is, yeah. Well, there's just so much you can do with it, isn't there? Yeah. And then you need one at the side. So in the pack, in the foiled craft card selection, you're going to get the wood grain. Oh no, the wood grain's the embossed one, but in the foil craft card selection, there's lots of patterns in there. There's florals, there's, there's cogs, there's like diamond shapes and like fancy borders that you can cut out and some more stylized little flowers. There is like a slow swirly one that would work really well with the wood grain, isn't there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've just found that one. Yeah, that looks really nice. So one more and then we'll just start adding a few embellishments like a handle and a couple of buckles and a promise. We're nearly done. So then that's the basics of our box. It could be a fab little treasure chest as well, couldn't it? Oh, yeah. Just looking at it like that. So now just to add our little details on, I've gone for this lovely gold effect. And this has got a bit of wood grain effect to it as well, hasn't it? There's lots. So I'm just going to cut a half inch strip. I'm going to do two because I might need a little bit extra for my fastenings. And then I'm just going to cut to four and a half inches. And then in the interest of time, I'm just going to use my little groove in here to do my scoring. So I'm just taking this to half an inch on each side. A little bit more red liner tape. It seems a very long week ago since I did uh, four cards in 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Doing the exact opposite today. I know, but it's nice sometimes to just take yeah. time. I'm just going to fold this out to make a little handle on the top, give this a little bend in the middle. Oh, a little handle. And we'll make ourselves a little handle, it's probably not even at all because not even looked where the other side is. So you just pop that on that layer on the top there. And then I'm just going to make another little buckle like this. I just need to remember what my measurements are. I'm just going to use this as a template. I think the top one is an inch and then the length of the other one is an inch and a half so I would love to receive a little box like that with treats in yeah such a good idea well we all love treats but they're even better if they come in a pretty um, pretty package aren't they yeah amanda has said can you stamp onto little books um you can stamp onto our mactastic little books you can um the you could use the stays on if you really really wanted to um or if you're quite precise and you've got a steady hand i would recommend stamping onto them and then maybe using an embossing powder and heat embossing it and that'll give you that more permanent okay but like I said because it's a silky surface you've just got to be careful when you put your stamp down that you don't smudge it in any way yeah because it it, re it wants to move on that kind of shiny surface but if you can master that then there's no reason why you can't like I said, you need to either use a stays on or a um, or heat emboss it. So I'm just going to finish this with some buckles. 
I've just put the tape to the top, not the bottom bit, because obviously we need them to move to open the box. And then last but not least, why have I just put my buckles on the back of my box? So you could do that <laughs> as a, I mean, that looked really good actually, but you could do that when you've got more time than me. Put these on here. Aww. And then I'm just gonna finish with a little foam pad. I'll make this one for dad with another one of our little sentiments. I'll pop that in the middle there. And then you can then decorate this up as much as you like. But there we go. This wonderful little, like oh. I said, you could change this into a treasure chest or, you know, anything you want. I'm losing a buckle. Thank you, Kat. You're welcome. Such a good idea. And just something that you could make a few of those and yeah. just have them ready. It's something really nice. And I'm sure anybody who would receive it would love the thought that's put into that. But just that's a little, because I'm finding here now that my tape isn't wanting to stick just while I've got it. I would recommend when you're sticking these bits down in real life, if you use your construction glue and just pin them for a little while, it's just because I'm yeah. sticking them onto where I've inked it resists oh. with the ink a little bit so your construction glue will sort that out no problems at yeah. all well thank you very much That's you're welcome Kat's three um crazy demos with our crazy craft show today we hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have and like we said get on the website and have check out all those crafty products but that's it from us today um pauline is back on hobby maker tomorrow at 6 a.m and 7 a.m with our box magazine and she will also be showing you a brand new concept card and then she's there at one o'clock with our crazy craft collection but tomorrow we will be here again as usual at 10 a.m with Anne marie and rebecca and they have got you super savers so you're in for a treat tomorrow but thank you so much for watching and we'll be back tomorrow that's it goodbye